Deus in auditorium meum intente. Domine, ad adiuvantum me festina. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. O Jesus, you have set apart these forty days for abstinence, and you decreed a Lenten fast to heal and save our mind and heart. Now come, be present to your church, be near and aid our penitence as we bow down before you, Lord, and beg you wash away our sins. Remit and pardon with your grace misdeeds from which we turn aside from future perils keep us safe by your most meek and gentle guard that filled with sorrow for our sins and cleansed by yearly penitence we may press on to celebrate the Paschal Feast with worthy praise. Let all your works adore you, Lord, O merciful and triune God. Renewed by pardon, let us sing a new song to your holy name. Amen. He is my comfort and my refuge. In him I put my trust. Blessed be the Lord, my rock, who trains my arms for battle, who prepares my hands for war. He is my love, my fortress. He is my stronghold, my savior. My shield, my place of refuge. He brings peoples under my rule. Lord, what is man that you care for him? Mortal man that you keep him in mind. Man who is merely a breath whose life fades like a shadow. Lower your heavens and come down. Touch the mountains, wreathe them in smoke. Flash your lightnings, rout the foe. Shoot your arrows and put them to flight. Reach down from heaven and save me. Draw me out from the mighty waters. From the hands of alien foes Whose mouths are filled with lies Whose hands are raised in perjury Gloria Patria et Filio Et Spiritui Sancto Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper Et in secula seculorum. Amen. He is my comfort and my refuge. In him I put my trust. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. To you, O God, will I sing a new song. I will play on the ten-stringed harp. To you who give kings their victory, 
who set David your servant free. You set him free from the evil sword. You rescued him from alien foes, whose mouths were filled with lies, whose hands were raised in perjury. Let our sons then flourish like saplings, grown tall and strong from their youth. Our daughters graceful as columns, adorned as though for a palace. Let our barns be filled to overflowing with crops of every kind. Our sheep increasing by thousands. Myriads of sheep in our fields, our cattle heavy with young. No ruined wall, no exile, no sound of weeping in our streets. Happy the people with such blessings. Happy the people whose God is the Lord. Gloria patria et filio, et spiritu e sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. Blessed are the people whose God is the Lord. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. We praise you, the Lord God Almighty, who is and who was. You have assumed your great power. You have begun your reign. The nations have raged in anger. But then came your day of wrath, and the moment to judge the dead, the time to reward your servants, the prophets, and the holy ones who revere you, the great and the small alike. Now have salvation and power come, the reign of our God and the authority of His anointed one. For the accuser of our brothers is cast out, who night and day accused them before God. They defeated him by the blood of the Lamb, and by the word of their testimony. Love for life did not deter them from death. So rejoice, you heavens, and you that dwell therein. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Now the victorious reign of our God has begun. Submit to God, resist the devil, and he will take flight. Draw close to God, and he will draw close to you. Cleanse your hands, you sinners. Purify your hearts, you backsliders. Be humbled in the sight of the Lord, and he will raise you on high. To you, O Lord. I make my prayer for mercy to you, O Lord. I make my prayer for mercy. Heal my soul, for I have sinned against you. I make my prayer for mercy. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto. To you, O Lord, I make my prayer for mercy. The works that I do speak on my behalf, says the Lord. 
they prove that the Father has sent me. Magnificat anima mea dominum, et exultavit spiritus meus in Deo salutari meo, quia respectit humilitatem ancile sue, et ceenem ex hoc peata medicent omnes generationes, quia fecit mici mania qui potens est, et sanctum nomen neius, et misericordieus a progenie in progenies, Dimensi poseum, fecit potentiam in brachio suo, dispersit superbos mente corti sui, deposuit potentes de sete, et exaltavit humiles, esurientes implevit bonis, et divites dimisit in ane. Sushepit Israel puerum sum, recordatus misericordiae sue, sicut locutus est ad patres nostros, Abraham et semini eus in secula. Gloria patri et filio et spiritui sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. The works that I do speak on my behalf, says the Lord, they prove that the Father has sent me. In his mercy, God sends the Holy Spirit to shine on us so that our lives may radiate holiness and faith. Let us raise our voices in prayer and say, Lord, give life to your people whom Christ has redeemed. Lord, source of all holiness, draw bishops, priests, and deacons closer to Christ through the Eucharistic mystery. May they grow daily in the grace of their ordination. Teach Christ's faithful people to be devout and attentive at the table of his word and of his body, so that they may bring into their daily lives the grace they receive through faith and sacrament. Grant, O Lord, that we may see in each person the dignity of one redeemed by your Son's blood, so that we may respect the freedom and the conscience of all. Teach us to restrain our greed for earthly goods and to have concern for the needs of others. Be merciful to your faithful people whom you have called to yourself today. Grant them the gift of eternal happiness. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. We invoke your mercy in humble prayer, O Lord, that you may cause us your servants, corrected by penance and schooled by good works, to persevere sincerely in your commands and come safely to the Paschal festivities. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.